The next presenter is Dr. Leandro Alves Patá. Good morning, almost good afternoon. Uh, my name is Leandro Pata, and I'm here as professor from Getulio Vargas Foundation. It's a business school here in Sao Paulo. I'm also a professor here at this department at Polytechnic School of Engineering. And the title of my presentation, I'd like to talk about uh, my most recently research about wind uh, farms uh, here in Brazil. First of all, to talk a little bit about me, uh, yesterday I talked to, to Aileen about my past experience. And start, uh, just uh, from graduation, I went to, to work for companies in the corporate side. So, first of all, I joined the dark side of the, the concept. Uh, and I talk a little bit about dark side because here, in Brazil, I worked for two companies, for Siemens and for Camargo Correia. Siemens, the electrical one, and Camargo Correia, construction company here in Brazil. And from the last, I don't know, three to four years, they are involved in some bribes, some collusion, some corruption cases here in Brazil. That's because I call it the dark side. But all of the dark sides, they have the good sides. And you can recognize this britchy rock band, a very good one. And in my case, uh, the dark side, the positive way, was to have the opportunity to have experience in corporate level, to know what they want, what they need, and then to come to the academia and try to connect these things. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I have a bachelor in mechanical engineering in São Carlos at USP. Uh, then a post-graduation in management here in the business school of São Paulo, Getúlio Vargas. And I had my master's and my PhD here in production engineering with Professor Marley in the project management uh, field. And last year, I spent some, some period at the Wharton School in the University of Pennsylvania uh, studying renewable uh, energy. My main areas of research are, of course, project management and renewable energy, wind farms, auctions here in Brazil, and how, how they are adopted and the performance of the projects that were selected to be implemented. And most recently, uh, also about smart cities, uh, specifically about uh, street lighting and the adoption of this solution here in Brazil. About one and a half years ago, uh, government decided that the responsibility for street lighting was transferred from utility companies uh, to uh, municipalities here in Brazil, and all of these seats are starting to implement some of kind of these solutions. Uh, and the idea is to propose not not only to change the lamps to LAG solutions, but also to try to create a kind of a backbone for integration with uh, solutions for internet, solutions for camera, and security, all of these, these things. About the university, uh, Getulio Vargas Foundation was founded in Rio de Janeiro, 1944. It's considered the 13th top think tank worldwide by uh, this report from Wharton, UPenn, considering US and non-US think tanks. Uh, main areas of research are public and business management, economics, law, social sciences, and history, and applied mathematics. About my school, the Business School of Sao Paulo was founded uh, in 1954. Uh, we focus on public and business management. Some figures, uh, we are 250 professors, more than 3,000 students, mainly undergrad students, but we also have 1,000 post-graduation students and 250 masters and or PhD uh, candidates. 
Uh, we also have the three mainly non-accreditations for business schools, like Aston University I discovered yesterday, and like also Strathclyde University I also discovered uh, yesterday. Uh, my recently publications are related to my PhD thesis uh, with success and performance in project management and the future targets are related to, to the research conducted uh, since last year uh, with Professor Ruben Lobel from Wharton uh, studying winner's cruise for auctions, auctions of energy and also the concept of planning fallacies in project management. Research projects, past project uh, performance, structures, and maturity, current uh, wind farms here in Brazil. My professor studied solar panels in Germany, uh, auto, uh, electrical autos in the US, and now the idea is to, to, we are studying these wind farms. And for future applications, uh, in general, renewable energy projects, and also this topic of smart cities. Teaching areas, I'm teaching uh, disciplines in these three universities, uh, Getulio Vargas Foundation, Operations and Competitiveness, and Business Diagnosis for undergrad and post-graduation, here at Poly, USP, Statistics, Operations Management, and Risk Management for Projects in a foundation that we have here at this university. And in another private university, just uh, two disciplines in undergrad, Operations Management and Business Management, and project management in a professional master's course. And industry collaboration, and of course the two companies that I worked for, Siemens and Camargo Correa, uh, in areas of uh, project management office, industry and communication divisions at Siemens, Camargo Correa Siemens division and corporate sustainability. And currently, uh, also Siemens, uh, also, if you people from compliance officers, a new area that was created after all of this uh, corruption case. Uh, Johnson Controls, an electrical company, and also GE Alston in the renewable energy field. Thank you.